Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray. Today we're almost done with some of this team rocketing and stuff. And hey, look, it's the guy. Mwahaha, yeah. So who am I? You're Giovanni. Holy shit on a dick, it's Giovanni. Uh, wait, no. Uh, nope. Yeah, nope. Yeah, it's that kid. Oh my god. I've been duped by a purple haired little douchebag. Password is Hail Giovanni! Oh, yeah, I'm gonna take that little bird over there. And I'm gonna make it say those words. And then the doors are gonna open. And then you're gonna look like a fool. That's just all there is to it, son. He said a Zubat. A Zubat! Oh my god! Here I was a little scared. I almost pooped myself in the last episode. I'm not gonna lie. I almost shat myself. When, when I saw a dick running around the corner, I was like, oh god, no, we gotta fight him. And I'm not, I, I haven't washed up or cleaned up or anything. I don't, I don't know what's going on. And then, and then, like, nothing happened. And he was like, ah, I'm gonna push you. And I'm like, bitch, you wanna go, we'll throw down. And then he ran away like a little hoe. And here we are. Running out of Zen head butts on coffins, because I mean, what the hell else are we gonna do, right? And like I said, at the last episode, I just realized we didn't learn Ice Beam, did we? Nope. Rathamacate. We are going to a switchings and to you. Alice, you, because you got the legits, the legitimates. Now, honestly. In truth, if I could get away with it, I would probably drop either Cray Cray or Lapras here for the Hitmonchan later. But I don't think we're going to be able to figure that out, especially since Phyllis can't learn shit. That's really what's hampering us, is Phyllis can't learn nothing. Honestly, I'm going to have to try and figure out what, what teams we got towards the end of this region so that we can, we can get Cray Cray something that will make him fuck shit up. By the way, I really should be working on Cray Cray because he could be a king winner here real soon. And obviously once he learns Crab Hammer, the world is ending. And, you know, that's just the way it is. Cray Cray is just gonna fucking take lives and eat souls and shit bricks. Because that's what Cray Cray does. Ah, losing to you won't change nothing that there's a Murkrow in the corner and it, whoa, yeah, run into the wall, you dumb bastard. Oh, yep, run into the boxes. No, he didn't run raw. Oh, how to your body? How to your body? You may be able to. Oh, wait, you dumb bird. Come back here. Hey, hey, bird. 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 What's up here? <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. I see a side spot. Hey, 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 bird. Bird. Thief. Thiefies. That might be the move that I was looking for. Thief. That might be the dark move that we can go toss on Ellie. I think. I think. I think it is. I think I think it is because it's, it's, it's one that'll work with Technician and make him fuck shit up. And then we can get rid of like Pursuit or whatever the hell it is. Is it Pursuit that we've got on, on Ellie as well right now? Obviously we're going to have the... Um, Whatever the hell it is, the bug one too. Um, X scissor to to take lives, but um, we'll 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 use the thief as well, I believe. Methinks do we have to go? We have to go up, don't we? We're pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Right, we just went the wrong way because I'm a dummy. Uh, I'm sorry. I just get you know like focused on loot and shit. I'm like, what's in this corner? I gotta find out what's in this fucking corner. Gotta find out what's in these boxes. What's in those boxes behind you, guy? Don't make me. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fucking scavenger. All right, hail Giovanni. Hail Hitler. I mean, Giovanni. Yeah, all right. Uh, yep. Hail Giovanni. It's kind of funny that they actually use that. The whole hail Giovanni, you know. Of course, you know, it takes a perverted asshole like me to be like, ah, hail Hitler. Ariana. Who the fuck is Ariana? Okay. Okay, so it's time. Oh, is this where Lance comes? Is like you can't do this. This is unfair. Two Pokemon against one guy. This isn't right. A two-on-one battle. That's so unfair. Typical Team Rocket being so sneaky and shit. Oh, you had an accomplice with some whack-ass hair. Look at that motherfucker. Let's kill them both. All right, Ariana, we're gonna go. 
we, we're gonna go. We're gonna go hard. It's like, look at that. They, they don't even have six Pokemon. It's not, it's not right. It's not right. All right, Dragonite. Don't be, don't be a dick and fuck this up for all of us. Okay? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You and your little curly eyebrow tentacle things, whatever you got on your face right now. Yep, get out of here, cat. Nope, nope, don't do this. Don't do it, sorry. Nope, go away. I'm recording right now. I don't want you. Thank you. Sit there. Stay there. Pursuit. Pursuit the Drezzy. Are we? Oh no, he decided to use fly, huh? That's, that's cool. He's gonna fly. Hopefully he doesn't do anything stupid. Like, you know, miss. That would be great. That would be wonderful. Well, now, yeah, we're just gonna Zen head about the Grimer. I guess. I don't know. It's good that we have something against poison types, because poison is really one of those types that's always hard to match up against. Um, at least through, you know, usually through a playthrough, because obviously you need like psychic or ground or whatever the hell it's weak against. I don't even remember anymore. Zen headbutt. Da 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 da. Get out of here, Grimer. Ain't nobody like you. Look at you, Dragonite. Look at you. Sitting all pretty. I'm gonna fuck your shit up later. You don't even know. You just don't know. I'm switching out. Probably don't really need to, but we're gonna drop into Hellas just because we can. And Hellas needs a little bit of this experience. And yeah, go ahead and do that. Because I'm just gonna ice shard it and probably kill it. Oh, uh, I don't know, it is level 27, and it is a Murkrow, although Murkrow isn't like super amazing flying tough as it is. Honchkrow is decent, but yeah, I was just sad. About what I expected, just because it's a single stage, and well, kind of a single stage. That's one thing that's kind of weird, like you, when you look at Murkrow, which needs an item or whatever to evolve into something halfway decent, which is 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 haunch crow and all that stuff thank you thank you avast for popping up and telling me like fucking java and shit needs to be updated i i very much appreciate that there we go sorry about that it, it wanted to be a dick anyhow and yet it, it, and when you look at the stat distribution between those i mean it's I don't know, it's weird. Like, I don't like two-stage Pokemon like that that need an item to evolve to its second stage. Like, Eevee is a, kind of a singularity, in my opinion, because it can evolve into so many different things. And that's kind of the whole point of it. But, like, things like Murkrow is... It's kind of weird, because what do you need? Like, a Dusk Stone or whatever? And it's kind of a pain in the ass to carry a single-stage Pokemon that has stat equivalents to, you know, Pidgey or whatever throughout most of the game until you finally get a Dark Stone to evolve it or whatever. I mean, it's... I don't know. It's one of those things that kind of I'm not really on board with. I mean, especially when Lapras is so damn good as a single stage Pokemon. Although it's kind of like a single. All right, Proto, Jesus, chill out there, dude. It's all right. It's all right there. Anyway, that was the cat. Probably hurt him making weird noises and all that weird shit. Anyhow, here we are. Now we gotta do this electro crap. Sorry, Gray. So, yes. I just hung back. I was just kicking it with my homies and not doing nothing, is basically what he was saying. And now, now Dragonite's gonna get all philosophical over here. But I don't see you switch on it. We have no choice. We must kill all the electrodes. Yeah! Genocide! For the fucking win. Sorry. I, I know that's morbid as fuck, but that's kind of how it is. Um, damn. This is going to be difficult because they're probably going to have static. And I don't have a ground move. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, you got a wreckage. Would probably be my best bet, but he has no more Zen headbutts, pretty much. I remember I just gonna have to ride him. I would throw a Typhlosion out there, but the problem is Typhlosion you know, electrodes have decent um, special defense, so therefore um, Typhlosion would probably not work as well. I mean, he could, considering he's pretty overpowered in terms of levels. But I mean, 
we can probably try and just get away with like stab horn attacks and hope this silk scarf see i did it this time oh he's got roll out damn i don't want none of that why not using the float typhlosion that would be like ah the last would be like blown up now anyhow here we are with the rakaje and he's fucking shit up um, I have no idea what we're gonna do about the ice gym, by the way. That's the next gym. Right after this, and I'm a little frightened. Uh, mostly because, you know, I think we're just gonna have to probably go in there and tank it. Use kind of a combination attack with, with the next gym. Because, um, um, we're gonna have to kind of like, use a combo of Pokemon. Um, obviously for the straight. For the straight ice types, Typhlosion can go in there and nuke them. That's good. That's all well and good. But for the Havsies, like Lapras, I think we might actually go into Lapras and just kind of tank our way through them. I hope they don't have Water Absorb or something like that, too. For the simple fact that, you know, it can take those Water Absorbs and hope to God that they use more Water types. Although, probably with our luck, they won't use more Water types and Ice types against Lapras and help keep us healed. And obviously, if Lapras goes down, I think we'd have to probably go into Wreckage here, and and let Wreckage try and do more harm than than tanking. Um, I think that's the idea. Just because I mean, you really can't go in there with Ellie as much as I'd love to. Um, that odd signal has finally stopped. I don't know what that was, but uh, here you should take this. I found it here, but I don't have any need for it. It's the Home of Five. That's what it is. Hum a five. And that's a whirly pool. Yep. 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 Knowing that. Will you keep going? You and I, my friend, we have a date. I'm I'm just telling you, we're we're gonna get to some bro loving and then we're gonna break up and I'm gonna kill your Dragonite. That's just all there is to it. I mean it's your Dragonite will die. It will get ice beamed and it will fall out of the sky. It will do four times damage and it will fall out of the sky, crash to the earth, and just blow up. It will blow up like a nuclear bomb when it hits the ground. I'm just saying. That's the way this is going to go. That's the way our relationship is going to go, Lance. I mean, I'm just, just saying. Just saying, my friend. Anyhow, clearly that does it for this episode. Next episode. We'll go ahead and get started on the next, uh, whatever it is. You know what I'm talking about. The next the next gym. We'll get started on that and we'll hopefully not get our asses kicked. I am kind of afraid of it, honestly. Um, because of our lack of things to do things to things. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Anyhow, you made it this far on YouTube. You know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching, and remember, the ghost key is the only place where pants are optional.